Mike coming at you. Today I'm going to touch on a problem that I think we all come upon, and that's storage. Where to put it all. This past week has been a big week for me. I found a great dumpster here, right even a block away from my home. And what that did, as you can see, as I'll bring you in on it, I've already gone through all these boxes, lots of sorting, and I've probably got about 15 boxes now of old books. Uh, old engineering pamphlets for machinery, etc. Little tidbits, old photo albums, machinery books. Here's a couple of real old ones I'll, I'll let you see. These are pretty common, but still a great old find. A machinery handbook. This is, uh, let's see what one this is. I think this is number 14, if I remember correctly. And then a Kent edition, 1916. Great old items. Here's another real good find that I got last week out of a dumpster. This is a Shakespeare real nice conditional look at it all aluminum it looks like with a little bit of bakelite right here in the in the grip and then maybe some of you will remember this one here that i pulled out of a dumpster last week i have to clean this up yet with a little bit of soap and water but it's going to polish up nice it's not broken anywhere and it's got this really nice handle which is hard to see but it's got a swirl bakelite marble type effect okay getting back to what i had touched on and that's storage what to do uh, I've made a decision in with my business of how I'm going to handle it. In the summer, I'm going to sell flea markets. It's as simple as that. I'm going to in the winter, I'm going to sort and I'm going to get everything organized, which is going to be tough. What I want to do is I'm going to put all the books into tubs. I'm also going to put all small paper items and things that have gone on eBay into uh, tubs, plastic tubs, totes. I want to be able to come up with a system where basically the van can be packed. And then I can slowly unload and just simply throw it on the ground. I'm not even going to do tables and take the lids off of all these containers and have everything accessible to everyone. That's my plan. Will it work? I don't know. If anyone has any better ideas, get back to me. In the meantime, let's show a couple pieces that I found uh, this past two weeks. Got this great piece right here. I believe it's from the old Paramount on University Avenue in St. Paul. As you can see, somebody had converted it to use as like an old door or wall or partition. Uh, it's got a hole in it. I know, that, I know it's pretty dark with the lighting in here, but I'll do the best to shoot it. But it's great. Uh, it's hand-painted, one of a kind. And I'm going to do a little research. And if it is the old Paramount Theater on University Avenue, that'll really add some great local flavor to it. Let's just go through here. A lot of this stuff is just, uh, you, it's hard to see, I'm sure. I got a bottle, a, a box of old jars, old coffee jars. Let me show you one. Now, at first, in the old days, this is a type of stuff that I would turn my nose up at, and maybe I should still be doing it, but I think they're neat, and I think there's a market for them. I'm thinking one to two bucks, maybe five bucks, I don't know. With the label on it, people love these old jars. And that's what my hope is. I'll bring them to the flea market this next summer, and I'm going to blow them out, whatever the case. You know, they're going to get sold, whether it is five bucks or two bucks or one buck or four for a dollar. I'll get them out of here. Now, these old pillars here, these are great. They're painted, of course, and one is pretty rough up towards the top. It's been kind of roughly and crudely repaired with aluminum at one point right here. But uh, I got three of them. And it has the bases. It's another great piece for the flea market next year. Those three, I'm thinking of blowing them out. And here's another great piece. I don't know for eBay or what. This, I found this last week in the alley. A pair of hockey pants. Now, what size are these? Oh, good Lord. They're huge. Look at them. They're almost as big as me, which isn't too hard because I'm... I think I'm five, six, five, seven. All right, look at these. But these are the things that you're looking for. They're clean. They're good eBay item because I can pack it up, sell it. And that not that the goal? Here's another little piece I found in the dumpster last week. Not in the dumpster, but alongside the dumpster. It's an old purse. Mid-century. No damage to it. Two nice handles. Um, pretty clean overall. Gaudy as can be, but... Uh, you know, it's a good piece for the flea market or even for eBay. Um, made in Hollywood, Florida, Hong Kong. Still a great old mid-century piece. Best part about it, super clean. Looks like something fell off of it at one point, but who cares? Two to five bucks, ten bucks, whatever the case, we will make something on it. And that's what it's all about, getting out there and hunting. Now right here, I've got these two old oak French doors. Now... 
they're not in the best of condition. I'm going to obviously, I'm going to throw some polish on them, clean them up the best I can, but they're old, they're thick. They seal together in the center right here. Out of all the panes on them, only one pane is broken, as you can see right there. But look at these knobs on it. These are fantastic. I haven't positively checked them, but I believe them not to be chipped. And uh, alone, the knobs are worth the value. I believe I can sell it as a pair. I don't know what I'll ask for them yet. i got to clean them up, polish them up. We'll see what we can get. Now, coming in through here, I'm going to show you a couple other pieces that I got last week. This is a great old little desk. I got it kind of cluttered up right now with some other miscellaneous stuff that I have. Um, Black Americana. Huge. There is a value for this. I found these in an old dumpster over in St. Paul. I'll show you the one that I just love, though. Where is it? Well, these are great. There's actually a market for people that just love to buy this kind of stuff. This is dated... Um, 1954. She's on a Harley Davidson. It's just a great photo. People love this stuff. One of a kind. Unique. Old fishing reel box that I pulled out of a dumpster. Nice. <laughs> Not much, no, but a shell case penny collection from the 40s. Dumpster find. Now this old desk right here folk uh, is oak. It's folk art, basically. It's got a little beveled mirror right here. See the dirt through there? It's been painted years ago, a period paint at least. It's not that new gaudy uh, where they try to make it look old thing. It's as dirty as can be. I've got to clean it out. I've got all the glass little knobs for it that were added. I've got this broken piece right here. We can patch that, get that in there. See what we can do for it. I think I can get a nice little price of between 25 and 50 bucks for it at the flea market. Someone might want it as a project. Metal Mike. Signing out, too much stuff, too little time. Thank gosh it's winter, because now I can really get into getting everything organized. Huge eBay push in the winter, especially here in the Midwest. Uh, we go into lockdown, hibernation. It's almost like an igloo fortress. But I got the shop here. We're rocking and rolling. We got lots of pickings to dig through. Get out there, find some treasure. It's everywhere. You just got to make that effort. Metal Mike.